Have you seen any $2 bills lately? If you get a $2 bill, you should hang on to it because they're good luck. But I'll tell you why they quit printing the $2 bills. They quit printing $2 bills because people were taking twos just like this and they were folding them up and they were tearing them into two ones. <laughs> and this really bothered people. You know, I didn't see what the problem was because it's not like counterfeiting because you still only have $2, but uh, it did bother the government. So what they're going to do is they've decided to quit printing them. In the meantime, what you could do if you ever needed to resolve this situation was take the two ones and just push like this and give it a shake. And when you unfold it, there you go, it turns back into a $2 bill. Let's see here, what do I have in my pocket? I have a little something that I'd like for you to examine, if you would. Okay, yeah, if you'll hang on to that for me, if you would. Make sure that's exactly what it seems to be. And here we have two coins, now very different coins. One's a half dollar, one's a copper coin. It's from England, it's an English penny, okay? Everything look ordinary and every yeah. day and yep. no questions about what we've got there in case you want to examine what we've got there, make sure what it seems to be. The handkerchief looks okay. The <laughs> handkerchief looks okay. Now, now here's what happens. I cover the two coins with the handkerchief, just like this. Okay? So now let's see. Here's what I'll do. I'll have you hold on to the ends of the handkerchief. Now just kind of gather them together like this and hang on to it. And I'm gonna ask you to name either the copper coin or the silver coin. Whichever one you name, I'll cause it to pass through the material, leaving the other coin inside. The gold coin? <laughs> I'm not as good as you think I am, I can tell. <laughs> but you, the silver coin. Now you want me to take the silver coin out and leave the copper coin inside, is that right? All I have to do is just wiggle the material, causing the fibers to expand just <laughs> enough to cause one coin and one coin only to pass straight through the material, leaving the other coin trapped inside. Go ahead and open it up. Make sure that the copper coin is still inside. And there you go. There you go. <laughs> But I could do it in reverse. I'll show you what I mean. I'll take the silver, or this, yeah, I'll place the silver coin. Hold on to the copper coin for me, if you would. And I'll place the silver coin inside of the handkerchief. And I'd like you to hang on to it with your left hand. There you go. And would you hang on to that with your hand? Hold it firmly there. Hang on just like this. I'll take the copper coin here. Now, at the count of three, what I'd like you to do is just let go of the silver coin, okay? At the count of three. This is, an, this is a big responsibility. <laughs> but on three, okay? Here's what I mean. One, two, and three. Let go. And just like that, the coins arrive inside. Open it up, look inside. Both coins inside, and there they are. <laughs> 